Yo, what up? Welcome to the first episode of the Alpha Muscle Podcast with your host, King C's, a black nigga right there on the beach, finna get it in. In this episode, we about to be talking about how you can gain your freedom. This is for all the motherfuckers out there who was working a job that they hate with no purpose. You know what I'm saying? Just to make money. We all been there. I know a lot of people need to hit us. So if you ain't got no purpose, if you just like getting these checks, paying bills and like, what the fuck next? Maybe I should take a vacation, travel. And you're really just looking a way to escape everyday life. And you just not fulfilled. You ain't really got no goals beyond your big dreamy goals that you're not even working towards. All of that bullshit that we putting up with living in this matrix, in this system. In this fucking society. I believe. That we ain't got to do that shit. I've been working on not doing the shit myself. And I haven't been. In this goddamn society. It was the point where I was just straight up out of society. On my whole hippie shit. Not giving a fuck about none of that stuff. But lately. I've I found a way to find some balance. Where I could be living. You know what I'm saying. Still making money. And still also maintaining a sense of freedom. And, you know, purpose in my life. And I'm going to explain how I did it and how hopefully you could take, you know what I'm saying, some advice of, of what I've done and apply it to your own life. So if you have, you know what I'm saying, if you're suffering of what I've called, of what I call purposelessness, you know what I'm saying, a lack of goals and no direction and you just pretty much using your days, going to work, smoking weed, getting drunk. Or fucking playing video games. Just doing the same shit over and over. This video. This podcast. This episode. Hopefully it'll. Um, I'll share some light in. You could use it for your own benefit. So. So shit. I'm, I'm going to look into a little bit of my backstory. But look. This is what I've been. Alright. So look. Alright. So when I really started suffering with this. I was fucking. It really started when I started working. I don't want to say the fucking angle. It was I was working this job that I didn't like, right? I was a fucking janitor. And I was getting paid good to do this bullshit. But who fuck want to commit their life to cleaning toilets and stupid shit like that? Especially when you're doing this shit overnights. Every day. That's when you start to realize, like, what the fuck? Okay, I'm getting money. I have financial security. But I don't have a sense of purpose. And also, it's just like I don't have a sense of freedom. And I'm still living with anxiety. And the shit just wasn't right. So that was during the time when my third eye started open. I started searching for answers. And the Bible says, ask, seek, knock. And I'm not saying it because the Bible said it. But King C says, ask, seek, knock. Because I know it to be true. Whatever the fuck you, 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 you're you lacking, you're looking for, ask. Ask for it. Just ask. Whatever that means to you, ask. That's the first step. Second step is to seek it out. All right? Seek it out. That's that's action. First you ask. That's like, it could be prayer. It could be verbal. You can ask people. You can ask whatever. Just whatever that means to you, just be doing that. And the second step is to seek it out. Getting on some fucking, I don't know, a Google search. Anything. Like, fucking just seek it. Be seeking it out. And then once you start to, once the answers go come to you. And once the answers come to you, you got to knock. Right? Knocking is just going for it. Trying it out. But, yeah. uh, I was working at this job and shit. And I had all this stuff that I wanted in life. But the job wasn't really even providing it. I had financial security somewhat. But that's all I had. But I didn't have the things that I want. I didn't have the lifestyle that I want, which is the most important thing. Because the lifestyle is what you're doing every day. It's, it's, it's what you're becoming. All I was was a fucking vampire from working these nights and doing this mindless ass shit to get a paycheck just to get a fucking money to somebody else. Or even having it sit in my savings account or a fucking stock. It still wasn't shit. Money ain't shit. It's an idea. It's an illusion to con- that controls people. A lot of people might not understand that, but some people do because the world is starting to wake up. It don't matter if you got $10, $10 million, $10 billion, or $10 trillion. At the end of the day, it ain't shit. What's important is what you're doing every day and what you're becoming every day. That's why I decided to focus on my lifestyle over everything else. Like, 
I'm very conscious of what I'm doing every day and how it's making me feel what I'm doing every day. So, long story short, I got all that shit ended, right? I said, fuck all that shit. I wasn't acting right. I got myself fired on purpose and all this type of shit. But I knew what I wanted to do because I did the act, seek not. And pretty much this, I pretty much wanted to be a content creator. And that's what I've been doing. I done grew my YouTube channel from zero to 100 did that i got paid from online businesses and stuff like that i got paid for consulting i got paid for selling stuff online all this stuff is what i i learned how to do this stuff though and i actually applied this stuff and it, it started working for me i didn't got in the best shape of my life and everything man i gained probably like 15 pounds and stuff like that so yeah i, I have a sense of freedom i'm not saying that i have I'm good with my lifestyle. That's uh, like, what is a dream life? I don't know. Like, there's always, you always gonna feel like there could be more or something like that. But I'm really good with what I have right now, right? Like, I feel like that I know that I can manifest what I want to manifest. It's not always easy and it's not something that I always want to do. Like, sometimes I don't feel like creating content, sometimes I don't feel like going to the gym. But I know as I do these things that the success is in the journey and I look back on it and it's actually what I it is my dream life because it's like I'm creating it in the moment. And that's how that works. So there's a book called the four hour week. There's a book called the four hour work week where they talk about how you could. Um, He pretty much wants you to define your goals and talk about he wants you to define your goals and write down what you dream of having what you dream of being and what you dream of doing so that's really what you got to do you have to first define how you want your lifestyle to be what you want to be doing every day what you want to be every day and the things that you want to have now this world that we live in is kind of controlled over it's controlled by materialism so you have to be careful so focus more so on the being and doing rather than the having let the being and doing manifest the things that you will be able to have. A lot of people do it the other way around. And that's how they become slaves to the system.